Hi there and welcome. The markets have recovered strongly from the recent crash. In fact, the recovery has been quite remarkable. I have been bullish on Nasdaq since April. However, signs of exuberance is starting to show and Nasdaq is potentially in bubble territory. In this technical analysis video, I will be going through the charts of Nasdaq and a few key tech stocks to answer the question, is the Nasdaq in bubble territory and what actions should you take to profit from it. So let's jump into it. I always start my analysis with the monthly or the weekly chart to get a helicopter view of the overall trend. One of the key developments I notice in this chart is this almost vertical type of rise over here. This type of rise is never sustainable. It always results in a big crash. But that does not mean the Nasdaq is going to crash right away. There could still be further upside. But to give you an idea on what could be happening, look at this chart more closely and try to identify a similar vertical rise that happened before. There are a few examples here as well as here. Notice what happened each time. The market headed south in a big way soon after. But these two moves are not at the same level of magnitude of this uh, recent rise over here. They are, these two are still a bit more gradual. There is one prior instance of an exact vertical price action. It is this one over here. The dot com bubble. Both are almost identical vertical rises. Let's analyze this further. Markets always rise and fall in trend channels and they form new channels with a level of bullishness or bearishness. The rise from 2009 is nicely encapsulated within this blue trend channel over here. Nasdaq then accelerated further forming a new trend channel that is encapsulated in this orange trend channel over here. Similarly, we see a gradual rise here in the 90s. It then accelerated forming a new acceleration trend channel. Let's take a closer look. The price broke above this trend channel and came back down to test it and this was uh, the support actually held uh, at the top trend line and then the price moved higher still. I am calling this the exuberant trend channel. So we have the normal type of rise over here then we have the acceleration trend channel and finally the exuberant kind of trend channel. Now this channel lasted for about 6 months. Here we can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. And there was a back test to the top trend line before the Nasdaq headed higher. And this back test happened at the fourth tick. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Which means that it took about 4 months for this rise to correct before heading higher. The recent price action also has the same kind of a gradual trend channel, the acceleration and the exuberant trend channel. And similar to the earlier chart, the price is once again at the top of the trend line over here. I believe the Nasdaq is at this point over here, the fourth tick in correlation to the earlier dot com uh, exuberant rise. Since it is also the fourth tick, this means that there is a possibility that Nasdaq could go on for another two more months. So how do we track this and look out for a possible reversal? First, there has to be a clear reversal candle like this one over here with a long needle followed by a breakout from the trend channel. Now, markets never move in a straight line. It always retraces a bit after a drop like what you see over here. And the retracement will form its own retracement channel like this one. This is called the back test. And the retracement channel is broken. It then continues in its uh, earlier trend with another drop. So what I'll be looking for is a reversal candle such as this one over here followed by a trend channel breakout and a failed back test. Currently, I don't see any signs of a reversal over here. I think the Nasdaq is still consolidating and there's a potential for even higher gains. Now there were two drops on the weekly chart but each time the bulls came in and brought the Nasdaq to new highs. So for now, I'm still bullish for Nasdaq and I think it can go on for another two more months. There is a wedge forming on the daily chart but no signs of reversal yet. Now let's look at a few Nasdaq stocks to gauge the market direction. This is a PayPal. The key point is this big gap up over here. Follow through support came in and pushed the price even higher. This is a very healthy chart with a very um, healthy levels of volume. Because this push up was actually supported by a big move over here. Let me elaborate on the gaps. Normally there is a three types of gaps. First you have the initiation gap like this one that starts the entire move. 
followed by some kind of a acceleration gap or continuation gap in the right in the middle phases and then finally towards the end you have an exuberant kind of a gap but there's no exuberant gap over here so i think paypal is still in its uh, uptrend it's a very nice trending uh, up with a nice volume uh, being supported as well now the picture for tesla is quite different here too there is a initiation gap and then there's a continuation gap or acceleration gap and finally we have this gap over here which is a more like an exuberant kind of gap or exhaustion kind of a gap now this is a concern compared to what we saw in uh, paypal here paypal there was a big push up some event must have happened here which uh, supported the price and then uh, the investors came in and supported further uh, increase in price whereas for this move up there is no follow through of volume if there is no follow through in the coming days the, this price might actually collapse and might test this top or may, might even go lower than that now let's look at zoom zoom 2 ran up with a high volume over here you can see there's a nice gap uh, nice gap up over here this uh, entire push up was supported by higher volume this is similar to paypal and uh, then the follow through volume came in and it has now uh, gone on to make record highs again now shopify on the other hand is very similar to tesla here too you can see it's been rising um, you have this uh, initiation gap some uh, acceleration gap along the way and uh, finally we don't really have a gap but then um, there is a push up with a candlestick with a big needle up here and there is no confirmation of volume uh, facebook has uh, gone on a sideways kind of a consolidation but there is still volume coming in to support it google too is spotting the same kind of pattern for facebook but here the volume is uh, a bit more tapered down so there is a mixed bag of moves in the nasdaq stocks some are still rising in a healthy fashion like paypal and zoom some are already showing signs of uh, exuberance like tesla and shopify and some are consolidating like google and uh, facebook only one of the stock shopify is spotting a potential reversal candle but it has not been confirmed yet so my earlier view stands nasdaq is still bullish and i think this is going to last at least for another two more months do subscribe to my channel if this sharing has been useful and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos and i'd like to thank my subscribers for your support it is heartening to know that the sharings has been useful and i'll see you soon in the next one